let's look at how we create a SafeAssign link for the students to be able to submit a draft of their work. So the first thing to do is to make sure that you are in an appropriate unit and that you have your edit mode on. Then we will go to usually the assessment tab. So I've already created one, I'm going to create another one. So I go to my assessments. As long as you have enabled SafeAssign in your customization, you can then go through and add in a safe assignment. So once I have that, I can then add in my draft two, put it in so it's really clear for the students as to what they're doing. You can put it in as points possible, but you don't have to. You can put in a due date and you can, the easiest way is to set the date selection on the calendar and then you need to put in the instructions. In the instructions, you need to copy in the link from the, not the link, you need to copy the words in that are available in the guidelines, which basically says that it's going to go through text matching software and so on. But what you also need to include is to remind them to please do not include the cover sheet and please do not include your reference list. The reason that we ask them not to include these things is that it links those to all of the other ones that have been provided. So it could skew it by 20 or 30 percent even. Now if you want to make it hidden for a while so that you're setting it up now and it's not available for a few weeks you can say make the assessment available no and so on. You can track number of views, you can set the availability date, so instead you can have the assignment available and make it available, yes, but check the availability dates that it's only available for these certain times. So you might set up a first draft which is available for a week and a half, then you might have another draft and then you might have your final submission. Now this next one where it is draft, that is one of the most important buttons. So when you click draft, what that means is it will not get added into the database, which means you can have the students do a number of drafts. If you don't click draft, it automatically goes into the Notre Dame database. So then say you allow them three goes, it's irrelevant because their second go will say 99% match to the previous one. So therefore they're not being able to do an accurate check. So if you're using it for an educative process, make sure that draft is always ticked. Urgent checking just means that it goes to the top of the pile in our Notre Dame ones. If we all check it, then it's pretty irrelevant. So tend to not do that. And make it student viewable. This is the report. So yes, always make it viewable. You can make an announcement which says that you've got a safer sign link, it's now up, up and active and so on. So then we go submit. So what happens now is that that submission means that it makes a link here. You'll know it's a safe assign link because it will have the green one. Remembering that this link is very different to your assignment link. This only allows them to include their assignment for the purpose of getting back their originality report. So the basics, safe assignment under assessments and then your normal types of things that you set up and draft to make sure that it doesn't get added into the database so they can do a number of drafts. Thank you.